the purpose of my music or at least what my intentions are when I create my music and the affirmations that I create are to inspire, encourage positive thinking and abundant thinking and to motivate motivate people and myself, you know, and ultimately motivate people to take that first step in that positive direction and wherever their spirit leads them after that first step is totally, you know, up to them, you know, uh, the purpose of my music also, I, I have hopes to offset the music that's out there, the mainstream music, the pop, the hip-hop, because a lot of the lyrical content that these songs produce are reckless lyrics, uh, promoting promiscuous behavior, violence, overindulgence in, in alcohol, and idolizing, idolizing reckless behavior and material things and I'm not I'm not being trying to be judgmental I'm just calling it like it is and I'm not trying to be a hypocrite because I myself created uh, such music and that that music is still out there you, you search for it it's still out there but I no longer endorse it or profit from it but nonetheless it's it's still there and I would like to say that I'm not at this moment in time, I'm not actually actually I'm not absolutely proud of of the negative energy, the negative lyrics that I put out there, but I feel in some way it was necessary in my evolution, in my journey. Because it showed me firsthand what words, negative words, reckless words, words that you're not taking responsibility for, taking responsibility for can can produce in in your life and in others' lives. And a lot of times, uh, people now, a lot of people nowadays, especially young people, don't realize that the that the the, the the movies that they watch and the the music that they listen to, they're, they're affirmations, especially the music, because it's inspiring certain feelings in you. And you're actually repeating these words to yourself and putting them out there to the universe with feeling. And that's why a lot of what's happening in our lives are happening the way they are because of the things that we continue to affirm out there, you know, especially if we're affirming, you know, something, something reckless or, you know, and also my music, it's not judgmental. Like you're not going to hear me saying, if you don't do this, you're going to go to hell. It's, It's more like when you listen to my perspective, it's telling you you're already there. You, all you have to do is just make a minor, make a shift in your consciousness, make a shift in in the words that you you project, that you put out there, that you tell yourself, in the way that you feel, and you're there. You're you're already there. So basically, that's what. I hope that my music does, my the, the content that I put out there does. It 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 uplifts you, it doesn't tear you down, it doesn't judge you, it doesn't tell you it's not promoting any specific type of religion. Um it, my only hope is that it will inspire and motivate people to take that first step in a in a positive direction. Um and where you go from there is totally up to, between you and your inner voice, your inner spirit. 
and if you're motivated by and if your spiritual growth relies on the Bible or the Quran or the Tao Te Ching or the Egyptian Book of the Dead or the Talman or what, whatever it is, it, it, your spirit will tell you what's right for you, for your growth, to bring you closer to the, 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 the ultimate creator, to bring you closer to God, the universe. Whether you read motiv motivational books like Think and Grow Rich by Bob Proctor or Thoughts with, uh, no, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Napoleon. Uh, or Thoughts of Things by Bob Proctor or The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. Or Own Ernest Holmes Papers. Super Rich by Russell Simmons. Whatever, whatever helps to get you to a higher self, to a to to a, a higher you, a higher level. As you take this journey, as you take that first step, things will will manifest, will fall into place, and you don't have to know what direction you're going into. It it, it will just each step will will seem to just appear. At least that's how it happened for me, and that's how it's happened for a lot of other people that have taken that step in in a positive, abundant direction, being at peace with yourself and in in affirming abundant thoughts, wealthy thoughts, loving thoughts, happy thoughts. And that's that's my hope. That's my desire to inspire my intention is to inspire my not only myself but other people to take that first step in the in the right direction, you know. I myself I, I read I read all the time. I love reading and I read inspirational books and I listen to to uplifting messages and I don't have to necessarily agree with every single thing that I read or every single thing a certain person says but as long as the the foundation of what's the, the being said the message is positive and uplifting and, and, and bringing you close to infinite intelligence to the Creator to God and exposing you to the power inside that you have, then I, I know I'm doing something right, and I know I'm listening to the listening to or reading the right thing, because that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Make people aware. Make people aware of the power that you have within yourself to to change your situation, to manifest what you want in your life, to have a life of, of happiness and, and security. And, and also there's powers out there that God put together for us, that the universe, that God put together for us to, to tap into, to uh, powerful uh, power, powerful energy. And everybody's the same. I mean, we all have access to this and to changes and like I said that's that's my main goal is to inspire that that step into that right direction and to uplift people and hopefully even if just one person listens to something I say something I said or any of my songs and it caused a shift in their thinking or caused them to be motivated or feel radiant positive you know feel the positive energy and, and, and just like I said, take a step in that in that positive direction. That I'm thankful for that, and I'm thankful for you all for listening to me and for giving me your your undivided attention and for taking the time out of your busy uh, lives to to share a few moments with me and my daughter Ariana. And before I, I send positive, abundant, loving, abundant thoughts to everyone. I always I say that, and I'm thankful. 
I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful for you all. And uh oh, I think we had a little tech technical technical difficulties, Ariana. What do you think? I think. Anyway, hold on. Not before we go. Ariana would like to say a few things to to you all. Good night to everyone, you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you.